All right, so we are uh, on our way to the convenience store again. This is probably like a millionth time yeah. that we've been, but we've been coming pretty much every morning to grab some coffee and some light bites. So it's just down the street from where we live, where my parents live. So Japanese convenience stores are way different from American convenience stores or probably European convenience stores. They're just known to have like the best food actually. Yeah. They have a lot of great snacks um, for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, even desserts they're well known for. Good coffee, drinks. It's actually so great. You know, sometimes we get our meals there. Uh, we don't even yes. have to go to a restaurant or cook at home. It's cheaper to just go to a convenience store and get some stuff. So we just wanted to stop by, I want to show you what items we usually get, what are some cool things you can yeah. see in there. It's very, yeah, it's very common to, for people to grab lunch here. Like when I was in high school, I would grab lunch at the convenience store because we didn't have school lunches once you got to high school. There's no cafeteria. So on the way to school, everyone would just grab a lunch there. So they have bento boxes and they're fresh, they're made daily and they're very healthy. A lot of them are just like rice with fish or chicken. So yeah, there's a variety of dishes you can buy and they have a microwave in there too. So if you want to heat up your food, you can do that as well. So super, this is true convenience. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is a very typical corner um, where magazines are sold. And I used to buy magazines here all the time. A lot of people buy comic books here as well. Um, Back in the day, a lot of these magazines used to be open, so I did always see a lot of people standing and reading, but they kind of did away with that, and a lot of them are now, you know, closed up, so you can't really just sit and read a magazine anymore, but, um, but yeah, this section is usually pretty popular. Kind of like the stands you see in New York outside, where there's like newspaper stands and magazine stands, it's like kind of like that here. Just like other convenience stores, they've got a variety of, you know, stuff on the go, I guess, if you forgot. Hair gel, or you need deodorant, or there's this lotion, face sheet mask. They've got pretty much everything you need um, if you forgot something. This is Crystal Knight's favorite for when we travel, these eye masks. <laughs> these are so great, they warm up. Um, they're really soothing and relaxing. This is the drink section. There's tons of great drinks. I mean, just like any convenience store, but they have like the coolest drinks. Um, so there's Mitsuya Cider. This drink uh, is actually kind of like Sprite or 7-Up. Really good. Yeah, Kalpis. <laughs> so it sounds like Kalpis, but it's called Karapis. This Karapis water right here. That's a signature Japanese drink. Um, kind of tastes like a sweet watered down milk is the best I could describe it. <laughs> and lots of different teas. There's like barley tea, green tea, just all different types because Japan loves green tea, so they have different versions of it. And just to note, there's no sugar in this stuff, like the yeah. steaks. So. Yeah, 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 no sugar. All right, so there's so many different types of coffee you can get in Japan. So there's ones where you can just get black uh, with cream and sugar, kind of like, you know, Starbucks coffee cans, but I feel like the Japanese one tastes way better, better. And they even have like the lattes, they have like super black, <laughs> they have cold brews. Uh, what else do they have? Oh yeah, they have like milk teas as well. Uh, and they have one with the anime characters on it. <laughs> so there's like so many you could choose from. They even have a Starbucks one. I like these ones, these iced coffee. Well, they're like latte coffees. They're so good. They're kind of sweet. These are on the sweeter side though. Yeah, so they have these types too where you just you know, put a straw in and drink from there. And then here's the beer section. Like if you want beer, they have their, you know, iconic Sapporo or Asahi is like the ones most people would know, but they have a little bit of different other ones like the brew. I don't know what that is. Keating beer. You don't find too much in the States, so they have that you could try. <laughs> oh God. Asahi Style Free. 24 calories. So they have all different types of noodles and ramen. And this one is actually miso soup. So if you like miso soup, you can get uh, it instant here. Actually, if you want to put water in here and have it, they do that for you as well. And they have some like, more ingredients like if you're cooking at home they have you know soy sauce and oil 
uh, sauces, noodles, things that are easy to make at home. More dressings and seasonings. And then the bread. Japanese bread is so delicious. Like this one is a special type of bread, it says. It's like a gold premium. I'm actually curious to see what this tastes like, but our parents already get bread at home, so we have plenty, but definitely try one of these breads. It's so good. And then here's like all like the, the pastries. There's rolls, um, danishes. Uh, they even have like pizza bread on a stick is what it says. Corn mayonnaise. <laughs> Uh, they have hot dogs, muffins, yeah, uh, sweet potato flavored Danish rolls. They like uh, sweet potato flavored things here, I've noticed. And of course, my favorite, Merong Pan. This is like sweet bread, it's so good. But I usually go to like the uh, bakery store to get these, but if you know. If you don't have that option, this is a good place to get it too. Also, if you're looking for the bathroom, they do have bathrooms here. It's pretty big. Um, if you want to look, they do have an area for men and women. They also have ATM machines here, so um, if you need to you know, take out any money, they've got that here as well. So, you getting your coffee right? Yes. So, every morning I've been getting coffee here at 7 Eleven. Um, there's like two coffee machines. There's one here and then there's one here. I think this one is better. This more slick looking one. Um, and they have a regular size and a large size. If you're American, you're gonna wanna get the large size because that's actually a normal regular size in America. The small size is like, like baby size. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like this is how tiny it is. I don't even think they even have the size in the States. <laughs> that's a large? No, this is a regular size. A oh, regular, yeah. okay. And I got a hot tea. So in Japan, like, they actually sell tea that's warm, even if it's in these pet bottles. So, um, so yeah, that's really, that's something that I don't ever see in the States is warm um, bottles. So they do that here. Even in the vending machines, they have warm ones. So in the wintertime, it's amazing because you just want to warm up your hands and drink something warm and you don't want something cold. And that's it for now. We're going to come back later at some point because um, the truck has not arrived yet for the bento and onigiris and that's what we always look forward yeah, to. Yeah, so it's, um, it's 7.02 right now and it's at around like 7.15 did you say? It's at like around 7.20, 7.30. So, I yeah. think like 7.30 I guess would be like when they actually come. Um, it's, it's too early right now. So we'll, we'll be back later. Okay, so this is a good time to get your bentos. So I'm going to show you that section. So there is this is what I really like. I love the salmon bento. I mean, sometimes there's like bigger pieces of salmon, but this is usually my favorite: salmon, rice. And these are called like tamami, like little like side dishes, which are really good. A lot of times, I don't know why Japanese love potato salad, <laughs> but this one has like um, mushroom and carrot, and these are usually like boiled or uh, like not boiled, what do you call it, nimono? It's, it sits in the broth, of like a soy sauce based broth, based broth, broth, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, that's tempura, and there's some green beans there with um, sesame seeds. Okay, this is uh, butaniku pork, so this is pork. Here's another type of fish. This has like a lot of fried food with it too. Here's um, some uh, beef, beef slice, karubi. And then if you are a big fan of rice balls, there's a variety of rice balls. And I usually like the salmon, which is this one, which I'm gonna get this. I want a little snack right now. And they have different brands, where uh, especially at 7-Eleven, because they're kind of known to have really good rice balls. So like these ones cost a little bit more because they, they um, say like they use really good high quality rice, so that's why this one's good. Or they use a really good quality, um, what do you call that in English? Red plum. Mm -hmm. And this one, oh, I love, oh, maybe I should get this. I love salmon eggs, and this is cooked salmon eggs inside the rice balls. So actually, I might get this today because I've had already salmon the other day. 
So this is interesting. This is wasabi. It says wasabi inside this one. Also, at 7-Elevens, everything's like translated in English. So if you're not sure what it is, it'll tell you like this is salty red salmon, um, beef and soy sauce, tuna mayonnaise. So yeah, they're all translated here, even and like these sandwiches yeah. here. Yeah, and if you want more of a Western type of meal, like they have plenty of sandwiches. And these are like, you know, dishes usually with rice on the bottom. So that is mabo dofu. It's a Chinese dish. They even have fried rice. And this is probably curry type. Of, oh no, this is tong, and like a katsudon. But yeah, and this is, I think, what is this down here? Oh, look. It looks pretty American. Oh, it's an omelet. Mm -hmm. And they have um, microwaves here, so they don't have to worry about heating it up. And there's more, he there's, this is like a noodle section. So all these dishes are noodles. This is very healthy, we like soba. Got spaghetti. There's more soba down here. And udon, pasta dish. Oh, there's guratan over here. Doria, this is Crystal's favorite type of stuff, doria. Oh, so this is what, is inside this, but it's grilled, if you're wondering. All right, so this is like the dessert section, and we've been seeing on TV that convenience store desserts are pretty good. And here is like a cheesecake. It says cheese, soda? Yeah. And rare cheese. Oh, souffle, so, cheese souffle. souffle. And okay. Layer, and layer cheese, yeah. So we're gonna try that. Look, David, I don't, we don't Sorry. like mac macarons, but they got that too, if you're a fan. What else do they have? They have mochi, sweet potato. They like sweet potato. Of course they have that. These are like dongles, kind of like we had yesterday. Yeah, we had temple. that at the Narita Temple. Fresh one is always the best, but. Uh, and then they have yogurt down here as well. Actually, Japanese yogurt is really good. Okay, so this section is like a combination of a lot of things. It's like this side is uh, like bathroom goods, so like toothbrushes, Listerine, things like that. And if you forgot, then you can come here and get that. Oh, they have like laundry detergent. Oh, oh this is like a 7-Eleven brand, laundry detergent. I love these little, little mini, mini detergents. The other side over here is all alcohol, lots of sake. Um, and then they have like whiskey and stuff. But yeah, if you wanted to try some sake, you could come to a convenience store and try any of these. And then these are like Japanese snacks over here. Uh, a lot of like rice cracker stuff, trowel mix. Um, this is like dried squid. This is really popular. I used to eat this all the time as a kid. I don't eat it so much anymore. And it's weird because I don't even eat like seafood, but this I would always eat. It's actually really good. They have cheese sticks, octopus. <laughs> this is interesting. I've never seen that before. And then we come to my favorite snacks and chocolates. <laughs> so there's lots of different chips you can get. Uh, this is actually my very favorite. It's the uh, nori chips, nori shio chips. And it has seaweed and salt. It's so good. I can eat this whole bag, which is very bad for you. They have two different versions. I've heard like this one is better. It is a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. So I'm gonna buy this, put that in the bag. Yeah, this is a classic in Japan, actually. I used to have this as a kid too, but again, I don't eat it anymore. Um, oh, this one is good too. This tongaji kong, this is a classic as well. It's like corn, corn this, chips, yeah, basically. Yeah, it's like similar to one of the states. Not really, though. No? Oh, okay. It tastes way different. It tastes different. Yeah. And it comes in a cone. They don't have that in the States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. So our, our brother brought this to us in Florida, because he has a Japanese store in New Jersey, and it's like a corn soup potato chip. So good. But it's addicting. This section, you can find poke in the States pretty easily nowadays, but they have more variety here. Um, and then also like little snacks, like what is a spicy chicken snack? And I've never seen this, but it's a 7-Eleven brand. I guess like tastes like spicy chicken, these dried snacks. And then this is like a lot of uh, cough drops. So if you have a sore throat or something, this is actually a good one because it doesn't have any sugar. 
So this is all uh, children's snacks. So they make it super cute. And a lot of them will have like a little toy in it as well. So it's kind of fun. What does this one have? It's a cookie, cookie charm, charm caught. I'm gonna get this one. I actually got this the other day. It says strawberry chocolate cookies. Super good. Yeah, they have a lot of strawberry chocolate, which I like in Japan. <laughs> oh, more chocolate over here. Melty Kiss. Candy used to like Melty Kiss a lot. Uh, I still like it, I just avoid it. So those are all really tasty. And then here is all the rice crackers. These are great snacks as well. Um, it's like a, some of them you can get more salty than others or a little bit sweeter. These are actually our favorite kind. Uh, they're a little bit sweet. And then these are kind of like the more classic. It doesn't have too much, uh, well, it has flavor. It's like soy sauce based. So they put soy sauce and bake it. One thing that we also enjoy here is getting some foods that are already prepared. Like, and it's usually fried food, but um, Crystal, <laughs> Crystal usually likes getting karage. But there's like fried chicken. And it's all in English too. There's um, French fries. This one says soy sauce flavored fried chicken. We really like this type of stuff too. It's like a koroke. So yeah, they have like a variety of um, foods that's already been prepared that's pretty fresh. So I think they prepare it here, so. Yeah, these, I don't really enjoy pork buns, but it's pretty popular here. Okay. I think that's it. We've got a basket full of stuff. So we got some snacks, we got a rice ball. Oh. I forgot one thing. Oh yeah, what Let's you go over there. Frozen desserts. <laughs> this is actually my favorite too in grocery store or convenience stores. They have so many good snacks. Like so this is like almond nut. I like the green tea one, but they don't have it. Like this is green tea, but it's like a different kind of snack than I usually like. Anyways, I'm sure it's still good. But today, what I was looking at was it was on the other side. I thought this looked really good, this butter cookie sandwich. I mean, and it's tiny too, so you could just try it. You don't have to have like a whole big one. We actually have coupons we can use here. So, it's from our mom, Crystal's little cute coin purse. <laughs> yeah, I got it at the Daiso store, <laughs> 100 yen shop. So everything nowadays is all done through the system. I don't know what they call this, like a cashier system. Yeah, so it's all in English, so you don't have to really worry about it. It's 153 yen. Okay. Do you want the receipt? Yeah, let's take the Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was our little tour of a Japanese convenience store, uh, specifically 7-Eleven for us, but they're all pretty similar like that. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's so many convenience stores. There's 7-Eleven, Lawson, Mini Stop. What else is there? Uh, Family Mart. Family Mart. There's a variety, but our favorite is 7-Eleven when it comes to food, uh, especially yeah. the bento lunches, and also um, apparently the desserts are much better there as well. But it's actually a great place to buy souvenirs too if you're looking for like little, little snacks to bring yeah. back. So that is our tour of the Japanese convenience store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye! Thanks for watching. Bye.